Hey everybody, um, I'm Bay and I'm back. I know I've been gone pretty much the entire summer, but I've been working on um, a few things for myself, like my business, Goddess Bay, which is what I am here to speak about today. So today I am going to be speaking about my experience with my one of my products, um, my Yoni Steam. I'll just be speaking a little about what Yoni Steaming is, um, what are the benefits of Yoni Steaming, how I got started with Yoni Steaming, et cetera, et cetera. So um, if you guys see me looking down, I do have some notes because I'm a horrible speaker and this just helps me to stay on track, to be honest. So yeah, um, what is Yoni Steaming? If you've never heard of Yoni Steaming or Vaginal Steaming or V-Steaming, um, it's basically just um, an act of you squatting or sitting over a pot of herbs that hold medicinal properties and the steam from the herbs will actually travel up into your vaginal canal and give you healing properties. So this practice is not anything new, although it's not really known in the United States. It's a practice that has been practiced for hundreds of years and it does have some great health benefits associated with it. So stay tuned for the entire length of this video i promise to give you guys some very valuable information and um if you're cringy if you don't want to hear about menstrual problems or vaginas or if you don't like to hear the word vagina you might want to go ahead and exit because this video is obviously not for you but anyways guys let me continue okay so before i get too deep into um talking about yoni steaming i'm actually going to let you guys know why I started Yoni Steaming myself. And I'm sorry if y'all see this green glare in my glasses, it's just my ring light. So why I got started with Yoni Steaming. So I used to suffer from um, bacterial vaginosis, which is basically just an overgrowth of bad bacteria in your vagina. Um, it can be caused by um, sex with multiple sex partners. It can be caused by um, too much semen inside of your vagina. It can be caused by medication or just a number of different reasons um, that you can get bacterial vaginosis but it's basically just an infection of your vagina it causes excess discharge um, a fishy odor um, sometimes it causes pain during sex etc etc so i was dealing with that and um, when I would go to my gynecologist about it she would prescribe me a medication that was a uh, metro something um, the generic name for the medication is Flagyl, and a lot of women get um, either the pill form of that or the gel form. I was taking the pill form, which was horrible for me because it didn't solve the problem. Like the antibiotics would cause me to get a yeast infection. As soon as I finished the course of treatment, I would develop a yeast infection. And then after I got rid of the yeast infection with some over-the-counter um, medication, I would get another bacterial infection. So it's just like, yeah, I dealt with that cycle for four years. I tried different things and none of the other natural remedies that I tried work. Uh, so I um, was researching about some natural ways that I can try this at home because obviously the medication that my doctor was prescribing didn't do the trick. So I ran across another company that sold these products that I currently sell now and I tried it. One second. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all, but yeah. So I ran across this business or whatever, and I tried um, the Yoni Pearls, and I also tried Yoni Steam. Now, I did like the Yoni Pearls, but the Yoni Steam is what really gave me results with my consistent use. I tried the Yoni Steams, and I fell in love. And I've been Yoni Steaming ever since. It's been about two years now. Was well, Yeah, it has been two years now that I've been doing the Yoni Steams. And I have definitely uh, reaped the benefits. I have not had a yeast infection. Or I've had like two. But yeah, that, that beats having a yeast infection like every other week. So yeah, <laughs> I haven't had consistent uh, or recurring yeast infections since I started doing the Yoni Steams. And I also haven't had a bacterial infection at all since I started doing the Yoni Steams. Um, and there's a few other benefits that I'll get into a little later uh, into the video. But 
just stay tuned because I have a lot of information for you guys and it's so now um that I've kind of introduced my story how I got into Yoni Steams um I'm gonna go deeper into <clears throat> speaking about Yoni Steams so there are a number of benefits to doing the Yoni Steams um like I stated I don't have any infections anymore so uh, balancing your vaginal ph level is one of the major benefits of doing yoni stings so <clears throat> sorry so if you suffer from the infection such as myself if you're taking antibiotics or any other medications that cause you to develop infections um, you may want to purchase a yoni steam. Um, another benefit that i reaped from the yoni steam is it regulated my menstrual cycle so I have PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome, and it's basically a hormonal imbalance and it causes a number of different issues. One of the issues that I suffer from was my period stopped coming. Like it was, it was extremely irregular after being regular, like clockwork for years, like my whole life. So like my period would come every maybe three to four months and when it came, it wasn't like a fresh red blood that you would get monthly or the normal color blood that you should get monthly. It was like black and purple and it wasn't the right like consistency. I just could tell that something was off with my body. So yeah, I got, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> I got uh, my diagnosis for PCOS, which explained why my periods were doing what they were doing. It just, it was one of the side effects for PCOS. So I actually started doing the steams consistently once I um, discovered that I had polycystic ovarian syndrome and once I discovered that I might develop uterine cancer because I wasn't having periods. So <clears throat> I opted into doing um, the yoni steams three times a week up until my period came. So I did this for about a month um, up until my period came and it came. Um, once my period came that first month, it was like, it was still like that purple, dark, black consistency and color. Um, but it came like it was absent and I received my period the next month. So that was good. And my period has been on track since. Now I only stand before and after my period. But if you suffer from um, irregular periods, if you have extremely heavy uh, periods, if your period is extremely light, like a light pink color, the entire length of it, or if it's black or brown or purple, the entire length of the period, then you should definitely try a yoni stain because you definitely want that fresh red blood during your menstrual cycle because it's fresh red blood. So another benefit of the Yoni Steams is that they help um, with fertility challenges. So if you are infertile or if you're having issues with conceiving a child as a woman, you will um, definitely benefit from the Yoni Steams. So one of the ways that Yoni Steams help to um, help women to conceive is the herbs actually help to shed the lining of your uterus so if you have um, irregular periods if you suffer from an ovulation which just means you don't ovulate um, the herbs will help to balance your hormones give you that regular menstrual cycle so that you can have a greater chance of conceiving and then by the herbs cleansing out like the walls of your uterus it helps to strengthen and tone your uterus so that once the egg attaches to the uterus, you can have a nice, healthy baby growing. Yeah, the steam definitely helps with um, conception. If you are having fertility challenges, this is definitely something that you should add to your regimen to help increase the chances of you conceiving. Also, the steams will help to shrink cysts and fibroids. So if you have um, any type of cysts or fibroids uh, within your womb, these things consistently can help to shrink those. Also, um, I already said that it cures infections. The steam also increases tightness and wetness. So if you are menopausal or if you just need a little pick me up, if you your uh, pH is just a little off balance and it causes a little dryness or whatever, um, the steam works. My husband is a very happy camper. 
um, because it, it increases the tightness and wetness. So, I mean, that's just all I need to say on that. But, yeah, it also treats uh, endometriosis and PCOS pain. Um, I should have mentioned this when I was talking about fertility, but this kind of goes along in that same category. Um, like if you have any type of scar tissues, um, the consistent steaming can help to, um, what am I trying to say? It can help to, I'm looking for a specific word. Dissolve. Yeah, so if you have any type of scar tissues or endometrial tissues um, within your womb, the uh, consistent steam, you know, entering your vaginal canal, the properties of some of the herbs that I place inside my blend of the yoni steams actually help to heal scar tissues. So that's definitely a major plus. That's a lot of, um, it's a lot of women who are infertile for those reasons, just because they have scar tissues within their uterus or their fallopian tubes um so if you do suffer from that my steam is definitely a good thing for you also some of the herbs in my steam such as the lavender the chamomile and the sage they help to treat anxiety and depression symptoms so inhaling the aroma from the different herbs help you um just to feel calm and relaxing it's very, um, it's a very relaxing experience to do the yoni steam, which is why I definitely suggest for women to add this to their monthly or even weekly um, self-care regimen. Because it's so relaxing just sitting doing your steam. You can read a book. You can do drink some wine. You can watch TV. You can meditate. You can scroll on Facebook or Instagram. You can talk on the phone or you can just sit there and reflect on your week. It's just a lot that you can do and just bring yourself back to yourself basically and, um those are some of the main benefits of doing the yoni steams so a lot of women ask me how often should you do a yoni steam so there is no set number there's no set regimen that you have to do or no set schedule it honestly depends on what you're trying to achieve from the yoni steams so say for instance um like i told you guys earlier that I wasn't having regular periods. So, of course, I wanted to steam the maximum amount of times that I could possibly do it to induce my period and bring it back on and to get it back that fresh red blood. So in that case, I would suggest you steaming every other day of the week. Um, you can just do three days a week. That's what I did. I did Monday, Wednesday and Friday. That was it. Or you can do every other day at the most. Um, if you are steaming due to fertility challenges, I would recommend you steaming at least once a week, but at the most you can do every other day. If you want to make this like a consistent part of your weekly uh, self-care regimen or maybe your daily self-care regimen, um, just to increase those chances of conception, I would suggest every other day. However, that's only every other day up until you ovulate, because if you're trying to conceive, you do not want to interfere with that you know, after conception possibly happens, um, you just want to leave it alone. So you don't want to steam anymore after you ovulate up until after your next menstrual cycle, if you're trying to conceive, but if you're not trying to conceive, you can definitely steam throughout the entire month. Of course, if you suffer from like, um, low libido, like no sex drive, if you suffer from dryness or like due to menopause if you suffer from um like menstrual cramps i would suggest you steaming at least once every month you can steam um like if you suffer from bad menstrual cramps that's also another um testimony for me i used to get horrible menstrual cramps when my period came due to it being irregular and i barely cramp now and that's because i steam within the week of my period coming on and I also steam afterwards just to make sure everything comes and goes as it needs to. I just lost my train of thought or what I was saying. Hold on y'all. Okay y'all, my bad, I was talking about cramps. Anyways, uh, <laughs> if you get uh, horrible menstrual cramps, I do suggest you doing the steam at least once before your menstrual cycle comes uh if you suffer from yeast infections and bacterial infections you don't want to do a steam while you have an active infection 
However, you can steam at least once to twice a month to reap the benefits and it does need, need to be a consistent practice. Now I'm going to go into the different um, herbs that are in my Yoni steam and their benefits. So the first herb is mugwort which fights infection, it balances hormones, and eases menstrual cramps. The second herb is chamomile, which reduces inflammation. It relieves anxiety, depression, insomnia, and depression. Oh, I just said that. Anyways, uh, calendula soothes and heals scar tissues, tears, and hemorrhoids. So if you have those scar tissues, or if you just had a baby and... You suffer from scarring and tears during that. You can definitely benefit from the calendula healing your yoni. Anyways, um, next is lavender, which supports healing. If you just had a baby, it supports the healing of your uterus and your womb. It also promotes menstrual flow. So if you suffer from irregular or heavy menstrual flow or you just don't get a period at all, this will assist with that. It also provides relaxation. Like I told you guys earlier, the act of steaming is very is a very relaxing experience. Um, it also has rosemary, which treats those bacterial infections, yeast infections. It also speeds up wound healing. So if you just had a baby and you had a tear, this will assist with that as well. And rosemary also stimulates menstruation. So if you're having those irregular cycles or if you have uterine buildup in your uterus, um, this is going to get all of that flowing and out of there. <laughs> Lastly, my um, Yoni Seam Blend also includes sage, which treats depression, loss of memory. It cleanses your energy. It's also great for relieving menstrual cramps and it releases unwanted energy from the womb. So this is like if you have soul ties, like if you just, I'm not digging in my nose, y'all. I'm just moving my nose ring. But anyways, if you, um, if you just got out of a relationship and you feel like you still have soul ties and emotional connections with your ex, the Yoni Steam is definitely a great way to cleanse and reset your womb and to just get you ready to move forward, basically. Okay, so who shouldn't participate in yoni steaming? Of course, if you are pregnant, you do not want to yoni steam. You don't want to do anything that will increase the risk of miscarriage or you don't want you just don't want to do anything to harm the baby. So, you don't need a womb cleanse or uterine cleanse or any of that if you're pregnant. Um, also, if you have an active infection, if you have an active yeast infection or a bacterial infection, I would not suggest steaming just because you don't want to make anything worse than it already is. You don't want to make any irritation worse than it already is. However, if you do have an active yeast infection or a bacterial infection, I also have a yoni oil that's great to reduce like irritation. It helps with itching and it helps to balance your pH level. So that's just something that, um, well, I actually have some behind me. One second. But yeah, this is it since I'm talking about it. Oh, it's not. But anyways, I have a blend of herbs inside of some organic oils these also organic herbs all of my products are organic so you don't have to worry about any chemicals any pesticides or anything of that nature but anyways you will just take some of this yoni oil it has a dropper and you'll place it on your yoni and you'll just rub it in like it's lotion you'll rub it on your yoni you can rub it on your labia as well as your clitoris and it will help to reduce itching reduce odors reduce um, irritation and increase lubrication 
But anyways, back to the uh, Yoni Stings. Um, also, if you have an IUD, you can do the Yoni Stings at your own risk. Um, since the Yoni Steam is a more gentle cleanse, I do um, feel as if you will be fine if you have an IUD. It's not going to dislodge it or anything. However, it's a possibility that it could cause uterine contractions, which could dislodge it. So that's why I say um, just use it at your own risk and use it, you know, at your own discretion. What are the risks of yoni steaming? So the only risk and this risk is something that scares women so much and it's really confusing to me. But the only risk, guys, is well, there's two. The first risk is a possible yeast infection. And I'll get into that in one second. The second risk is um, you possibly burning yourself. So the first um, the first risk is the possible yeast infection, which is basically a deciding factor for a lot of women to not use the steam, which is kind of backwards for me because the steams are 100% are organic. These herbs are 100% organic and they all have healing properties that I mean you can research each herb and see the different properties that they have a lot of women get scared at the word possible or the words possible yeast infection but I like I said I used to get consistent yeast infections and I have not had one or I haven't had consistent infections since I think I've had like one or two maybe three yeast infections over the past two years since I've been doing the, the Yoni stains, but I used to get them like every other week. So, hey, you tell me, are the herbs better or the medication that my doctor was prescribing to me that kept giving me a yeast infection? So, yeah, guys, um, the yeast infection thing, to me, that's not something to be concerned or alarmed about because anything can throw off a woman's pH, like sweating too much can give you a yeast infection like eating too many sweets can give you a yeast infection not drinking enough water can give you a yeast infection a sex partner can give you a yeast infection like a body wash can give you a yeast infection anything can so don't close off you know the the option to heal yourself with natural products because you're afraid of a possible yeast infection because i mean we as women, you get yeast infections throughout your life. Like, it's just a natural thing. So if, I, if I'm if i presented with a product that can potentially rid me of that cycle, I'm going to try it. Like, if you get a yeast infection, okay. You know not to use it again if you don't want to. But just don't miss out on an opportunity because you're afraid of something that you probably already have had before. You're not going to die. And the herbs are good for you. Like I said, they're all 100% natural. If you're not allergic to the herbs, you shouldn't have any issues. Also, the second thing, the second risk is you burning yourself. Now, this risk, it, I mean, you shouldn't burn yourself if you allow the steam to cool. I allow my steam to cool for maybe five to seven minutes, but I like mine on the warmer side because I like to steam for about 30 minutes so of course I want to sit on the steam as quick as I can so that I can get the full 30 minute session but you can definitely um you can definitely allow the steam to cool for 10 minutes if it's too hot you don't have to sit over the steam before you test it you can test it just like you test the baby's bottle with your wrist you can just put your wrist over the pot let the steam rise make sure it doesn't burn you so you can definitely prevent burning your vagina by testing the same before you sit over it. That's all you have to do. Um, now, my last category is going to be how do you steam? So there's a number of different ways that you can do a yoni steam. So I'm just going to go down a few of the things that I've tried and what I currently use to steam. So the first thing that I tried steaming with was with a sitz bath. And if you don't know what a sitz bath is, it's, it's like a little piece of plastic thing. Um, it's kind of like a toilet seat cover type thing. And it has a bowl that goes inside of the opening of the toilet that holds the water. You basically sit the little plastic uh, sitz bath thingy 
over the toilet. You will pour your water and the herbs inside of the sit bath and you'll just sit over it. I didn't like that. However, there's another there's a number of women who do use that and they're fine. I didn't like it because it was just uncomfortable to sit on for an extended period of time because as I stated, um, I like to do the yoni seams for as long as possible. I like to do the yoni seams for about 25 to 30 minutes and it was just not comfortable to sit on that for 25 to 30 minutes. Um, I also didn't like, um, I used to burn like my butt cheeks because it was just too close. It was too close. It we used to burn because the steam was like right here and it didn't really have much room to cool down just a little before it reached you. So that was a uh, definitely a way that I used to burn myself because my butt cheeks would like fall into the water. It was just doing too much. So I recommend the sits bath to start. It's a great start if you don't have anything else. However, it wasn't the most comfortable um, option that I'll give you. Um, so yeah, sits bath and that's spelled S-I-T-Z, sits bath. You can purchase them on Amazon. Um, they're like $15 on Amazon. The second thing that I tried um, was a five gallon bucket. So my husband and I went to Walmart. We purchased a five gallon bucket with the lid. It was like $5, maybe even less than that. We gave it a good wash to make sure we got all of the germs out, disinfected it or whatever. And we cut a hole in the lid. So we used a pair of scissors and a knife and we stabbed the top of it, put a hole in it and we used the scissors to cut around, of course, to make a circular hole. So I would, um, I love that one actually because I could use as much water as I wanted to to fill up the bucket. So I used to steam for like an hour, sometimes an hour and a half, and I was good. But anyways, um, I like that. That was my favorite. Um, I used to just pour as much water as I wanted to in there and put my herbs in there and sit over it. Sometimes I would like... Um, I would roll like a scarf around the top of it. Not a scarf. This is a scarf that I'm just using. But I would roll like a blanket on top of it, just in a circle like this. And I would just sit it on top of it to make it a little more comfortable. And that's it. So you can definitely use a five-gallon bucket, which is my number one recommendation because it's cheap. It's easy to cut the hole in the top. And you can get some nice steaming sessions out of the bucket. Um, also... While I'm talking about the bucket, some women um, don't like to do, use plastic to do the stems just due to the fact that there's chemicals in it, which is fine. You can um, purchase the five gallon bucket and just place like a bowl in the inside um, or a pot on the inside just to separate the pot from the plastic if you don't want to pour the, the concoction directly into the bucket. That's another option. Also, um, a camping toilet is another option. So another way to do the yoni steams um, is a camping toilet or like a portable toilet or I don't know what those toilets are called. They're like the elderly people have. Maybe it is a portable toilet. I don't know. But you can buy like those elderly people toilets, um, the camping toilet, which is basically like a toilet seat with some metal legs. That's all it is. Um, and you can place the, a pot or a bowl underneath the camping toilet or the portable toilet and just sit on top of it. Those can also be purchased on Amazon.com for about, I think I paid like $25 for the camping toilet that I used to have. Um, however, use those at your own risk because I fell like in the pot one time when I was steaming because like the legs on the camping toilet gave out. And I don't know if it's because maybe I needed to replace the toilet, but I didn't steam on that anymore. I don't have time to be falling in no hot water. So, yeah, make sure if you do decide to go with a camping toilet to purchase a nice, sturdy um, camping toilet, make sure that you read the reviews and just make sure that you're not going to fall and hurt yourself or burn yourself. Because it almost happened to me, which I did burn myself, but it wasn't like... 
a third degree burn. It was just like, oh my God, did I really just fall? And my husband was just laughing like, it was not funny. It was though. <laughs> Anyways, um, if you don't currently have any funds to purchase anything, but you do want to do the Yoni Stems, you can also um, clean out your toilet really well. You can either turn off the water in your toilet, flush the toilet so that it can be completely empty and just pour your boiling water and herbs into um, the pot. Or you can, oh, sorry, lost my train of thought again. Or you can pour the water and the herbs directly into the toilet bowl. You don't have to turn the water off if you don't know how. Just make sure you have more boiling water than the water that's in that's already in the toilet so that you can still get steam um, and so that, you know, the water remains hot. Um, I myself haven't done that just because I've always had a steam seat since the beginning. But as long as you clean your toilet well, you can do the steam. I mean, we sit over the toilet every day when we use the restroom. I don't see what the problem with steaming your vagina over the toilet is. It's not going to give you an infection as long as your toilet is clean. Okay, so that's all of the information that I have for you guys regarding the Yoni Steams. But I did want to give you a visual of what to expect um, if you are or once you go on my website and make your purchase for the Yoni Steam. I just want to show you guys what to expect. So... I have three pouches of Yoni Steams, which are $20. This will give you three Yoni Steams. So if you wanted to do three steams a week, all you have to do is place one order every week. Or if you want to do one steam a month, you've got to supply for three months. Um, so anyways, yeah, it's three of these pouches of steams for $20. And this is what it looks like. Now, I offer uh, currently on my website, I have two different blends. This is actually my fertility blend. And then I have one other that's just a general blend. So it's just a pouch of herbs. And once you get ready to perform the steam, you'll just open this pouch. Make sure your hands are clean first. You'll open this pouch, empty this pouch out into your pot of boiling water. Um, you want to use um, the cleanest source of water that you can find. So if you have bottled water, you definitely want to use that over tap water. But if all you have is tap water, just make sure that you boil the water first to cleanse it before you place the herbs in it. But if you're using like bottled water or filtered water, you can place the herbs in the pot and allow the or bring like the herbs to a boil while they're already in the water. So yeah, you'll... Place this in the pot, bring it to a boil, allow it to boil for about five to seven minutes, and then you'll turn off the pot of boiling water. You will let the water cool down for five to 15 minutes, however long you need. Um, pour it into your choice of your steam seat, whatever you have, and you'll sit over it. You want to use like a blanket or a towel, just wrap it around your body to trap the steam inside to make sure that you get, you know, all of the benefits of the steam. And that's it. Now, one more thing I wanted to say um, about Yoni steaming is consistency is key. A lot of people do one steam and expect to see like a life-changing effect. And I mean, while that may happen for some women, other women it may not happen for. So you definitely have to be consistent when practicing the Yoni steams to see the benefits. Like I told you guys, I used to steam three times a week, but when I got a consistent period, now I only steam twice a month. I mean, you just have to kind of work with it, be consistent, and you will definitely reap the benefits as long as you're still being consistent. So with all of that being said, um, I don't really have anything else to say about the Yoni steaming besides the fact that it has definitely changed my life. Um, like I said, I have periods monthly now when I was suffering from irregular periods. I don't have infections anymore. I don't have excruciating period cramps anymore. It increases my wetness as well as my tightness every time I do it. And it brings me a calming effect when I do the steams. And 
overall, I can just tell that I'm I'm just in a better place since I started doing the thing. So you want to go to my website. Um, again, I am the owner and the CEO of Goddess Bay. Um, my website is currently baysgoddessbeads.com, which is going to be placed below. Baysgoddessbeads.com. I have Yoni Steams. I have the Yoni oil that I showed you guys earlier. I have white sage. If you need to cleanse the energy in your home, I can help with that. And I also have um, bracelets. I have a few bracelets for like $5 on my website. I have some waist beads available on my website. And I also have Yoni pearls available. So you definitely want to go and check out Goddess Bay. And if you have any questions, maybe if I don't answer a question that you have during this video, you can send us an email. Um, all of this information will be placed below in the description box, but my email is sales at baysgoddessbees.com or you can just go onto my website and chat with me. And you also want to look up Goddess Bay on Facebook and Instagram. Follow us so that you don't forget, you don't miss out on anything. And, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Staying tuned. Thanks for any support that you guys offer me and have a wonderful day. Bye. I almost forgot to tell y'all to subscribe to my channel. Um, there will be more videos. I definitely am going to be consistent again, guys. There will be more cooking videos. There will be videos about my business. And my husband and I are also going to be giving some marriage advice and just doing different things. So subscribe to my channel, um, turn on the post notifications so that you don't miss out when I do post videos and stay tuned guys because y'all are definitely in for a treat.